Hello guys, welcome to Microbiology classes. In previous videos, we have studied about spoilage of foods, different types of foods, and the spoilage process and causing microorganisms. In this video, from this video, we are starting with food preservation. Okay, first of all, what is food preservation? Food preservation is a technique to prevent food spoilage, food infection, and food poisoning, and microbial contamination of food. So, it is the definition. Food preservation is a technique that we use to prevent food spoilage and microbial contamination and food poisoning and any infection to the food. Storing or keeping the food free of contamination, food free of contamination by microorganisms is referred as food poison. It is the exact definition of food preservation. What is it? Let's, uh, let us recall. Storing or keeping the food free from the contamination of microorganisms or any other process that is a contamination process is referred as food preservation. Next comes principles of food preservation. What are the principles of food preservation? Okay, that means like targets. Okay, to prevent autolysis. Autolysis, we have seen this. Autolysis means... Um, self contamination self spoilage okay like self spoilage and next one to prevent microbial growth and metabolism to prevent that is to stop microbial growth and the metabolism of these micro uh, microorganisms within that food and to inactivate the enzymes we have seen that enzymes also cause spoilage so to inactivate the enzymes so that we can prevent the contamination and next one comes remove to to remove the requirements necessary for microbial growth here some food items contain uh, favor conditions for microbial growth. By that microbial growth, what happens? Contamination will occur and spoilage will happen. So, to prevent the contamination and spoilage, we have to stop or remove the, uh, the favorable condition. Those are the requirements are necessary for microbial growth. We have to remove that. By that, we can eliminate the contamination and to create anaerobic conditions. Okay, it is somewhat helps to prevent the contamination and to kill microbial pathogens last process that is the, to kill totally eliminate the microbial pathogens pathogens here pathogens means which are these are microorganisms or organisms which can cause diseases these are called pathogens to kill microbial pathogens now let us recall first there is a definition that is the storing and uh, keeping the food free of microorganisms are free from the contamination that is referred as food preservation and food preservation it is a technique that uh, we use to prevent the food spoilage or microbial infection or something else that is causing contamination and here are the principles that is the autolysis and metabolism growth enzymes requirements for the growth and anaerobic conditions and um, killing okay next comes methods of food preservation the methods we use to preserve the food methods use it to preserve food here this is one Methods used to preserve food without altering desirable characters of food are based on one or more of following principles. These methods which we use to preserve that food but we, we do not have to compromise with the desirable characters that we need not to alter the desirable characters by these methods. These are based on one or more following principles. These are the principles. Prevention or removal of contamination, inhibition of microbial growth and metabolism, killing of microbial uh, microbial action, that is the killing of microorganisms. On the basis of these principles, we can preserve the food without altering the desirable characters of that food. Okay. Next, various methods for food preservation. Here are methods. First one, aseptic handling and processing. High temperature, through high temperature, through boiling, in boiling. Uh, so many other process also come pasteurization steam under pressure micro oven and low temperature that is we used to keep foods in fridge right that is the reason Refri refrigeration and freezing sorry for the wrong pronunciation if there is and dehydration high osmotic pressure chemical additives uv radiation ionizing radiation we can notice that by keeping the food our uh, fruits in the fridge they will um, they will be fresh right because uh, they, there is a, a condition that is not favorable to microorganisms that is the microbial growth and these are the various methods we will discuss these methods separately we see separately by discussing one one and uh, in next videos okay here it is let us recall once again food preservation there is definition and principles of food preservation and methods without altering the there are principles and various methods we have seen now
in next videos we will discuss these methods separately by discussing one one topic separately okay thank you for watching